Hello and welcome to Scotland's Trade Fair Online. Now these live sessions that we're hosting today are dedicated to new small companies who entered our recent hashtag launch with STF competition. So they're brand new small companies who haven't sold to retailers before. Um, I'll be talking to the entrants as well as watching videos and what they produce and finding out more about their company and their products. As some of these may well be the best sellers for the next decade and beyond. They, you know, this might be the next big thing. Um, now, at the end of the presentations at four o'clock, we're going to announce the overall winner who will win a number of packages, including a discounted stand at um, Scotland's Trade Fair Autumn. And we've got four runners up. Now, I want you to think who's going to be the winner today. Uh, I must thank all our judges, which was Gemma McHugh, the product manager retail from National Trust for Scotland, um, Becky Walker, owner of the Green Gallery in Buclivy and Dollar, and Leslie Todd from hashtag Scottish Gifts and Calendar. So stay here to find out these new companies and make sure you're on at four o'clock when we announce the winners. But now enough from me, so let's get started. To kick off the day, we have Al's Cousins from Al's Cousins Artwork. Now Al's creates modern and vibrant artwork of things he loves, such as animals, farming, Edinburgh and cycling. As well as the artwork, he, along with his partner, Louise, produces gifts and other products from their studio in Edinburgh. But let's find out more by watching his video. I'm Alistair, but everyone calls me Alice. I'm a graphic designer, artist and photographer based in Edinburgh. And if you haven't guessed it, I'm the man behind Al's Cousins Artwork, a small independent business selling artwork and gifts created by myself. With help from Louise, we run our business from our home studio and produce everything locally where we can. I'm a digital artist. Everything is hand drawn, but using a computer. I produce fun, vibrant and modern artwork. I started selling my own artwork about four or five years ago. We built up our website and we sell mainly at local markets and national shows, as well as gaining almost 8,000 sales on Etsy. Growing our business together has been great fun and a great adventure. We're always looking for new ideas and to start new relationships with other businesses. And now, raring to expand through wholesale. Using a stylus and a tablet on a computer does give me endless possibilities to try different techniques and styles. I love learning new skills and creating artwork around my interests, which I hope others like too. I believe having such a diverse range of artwork is my unique selling point. And as we say, there should be some art for everyone. So as mentioned, I do a variety of different styles and techniques. First off is digital paintings. Now these are a series of fine art paintings uh, of livestock and various animals found in the British Isles. The animals I paint aren't the best models, so I visit farms and take photos of them all and use them as reference pieces when I get home. Using a stylus and tablet, I can then draw the individual hairs of the animal and I layer these on top of each other to give the effect. And on the computer, you can obviously increase the colors and make them look vibrant, bright and modern which is the style I'm going for. Another main style is my British Livestock series. By now, you can probably guess I grew up on a farm in Cumbria, hence the silly accent, but have lived in Scotland for 15 years. The series takes inspiration from old school farm posters I used to have on my wall as a kid, and I wanted to bring that into the 21st century. It started with one little cow illustration, and I think I'm up to about 300 breeds now. They are fun, colorful, and educational prints and gifts that have proved really popular with our customers. My final collection focuses on Edinburgh. This is quite a varied group of artwork, but more recently I've created the Edinburgh Splash Collection. This is a series of black and white fine art photography with a splash of color and has quickly become one of my best selling collections. With lockdown, we're looking forward next year to hopefully expanding this collection throughout Scotland and see what we can come up with. So onto the products themselves, I sell primarily everything as prints, but we also have a series of gifts and other things with my artwork on. So all my prints are designed to be either A3 size or 40 by 30 centimeters. This just helps with getting frames easy enough. Obviously I do different sizes too, but Everything that I produce, you can get a pre-made frame for, so it's super simple. All the prints are printed locally down in Haymarket, if you know Edinburgh, via local printers, and they're all printed on high quality 350 gram premium matte paper. 
I present them with a cardboard backing board and a silo bag to keep them nice. We also have a lot of my artwork as a standard smaller size. These are a series of 8x6 prints in a 10x8 mount and they come with a backing board and the silo bag. We also have a range of other products with my artwork on with the mugs being some of the most popular. We have the British Livestock series that come with a gift box and some of my digital paintings, mainly the Highland Cows, also on a mug. We also have a series of greeting cards and tea towels which are popular gift items. And of course, it's important to note that all products are made in the UK. Obviously this is a short video and there's a lot to take in and not enough time to show you everything. But to find out more, please visit our website or get in touch and we can send you our brand new wholesale brochure. Thanks for listening, I'm Miles. I hope there's something there you like and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Hello and welcome, Al's, to Scotland's Trade Fair Online. Um, what fantastic original products you have. And I just love that video. It's certainly really creative and informative. Um, now, can I remind the audience, if there's any questions, please put them in the Q&A bar and I will ask them to Al's. Um, but uh, Al's, um, you're obviously very well loved already by many customers um, from selling direct. But can you tell us a bit about the story behind the company and how it started? Hi, Flella. Thanks for having me. Um, I originally started after university. I uh, was uh, sort of dabbled in graphic design and I was helping friends with like restaurants and designs for menus, etc. cetera. Um, and that just slowly built over time. Um, so it took quite a number of years of building up a graphic design business. And then that led on to things like uh, people saying, do you do photography? So I was like, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get, I do that as a hobby. So I started doing that as a hobby, got into wedding photography for a bit. So I just like to keep it sort of diverse. And then um, as a side project, I was just drawing my own art for fun. Um, and then eventually, you know, someone says, you should, you should try and sell that. Um, and it took a, a long time to pluck up the courage um, to sell some artwork. Um, but eventually I did. And uh, it was amazing. The first sale was unbelievable. So uh, <laughs> I've just developed my styles and done things I've, I've liked. I've obviously put a lot of things in the bin that I haven't liked. Um, and I think we're sort of, it's, although it's still quite a diverse range of products, it's still a lot narrower than it used to be. Um, so it's been a long, slowish progress process, but uh, learned so much along the way. And now here we are selling sort of as my proper job, I suppose. Uh, I still do design things, but it's, it's more focused on the artwork now. So. Yeah. Well, that's great. And now a full-time business, which is great. Now, what gives you the inspiration behind the designs? Um, I suppose it's all just the things that I love, really. Um, so there's a whole section on cycling um, that I don't even sort of show anyone, um, but I'm, I like cycling. <laughs> so I've sort of done a load of artwork around that. But I've collected a, a folder on my computer of artists that I like, designs I've seen for the last 10, 15 years. And um, I sort of just go through that regularly for ideas um, and then just draw that draw it around the things I love. So that's why there's a lot of animals and farming. And obviously I lived in Edinburgh, moved here. So I love this place. Um, so it's it's a bit cliche, but you just get inspiration from from everywhere, really. Yeah, exactly. And and what would you say is your USP, your unique selling point about your products? I mean, what's the, what's the thing that really grabs people about them? Um, yeah, I, d I don't think there's anything sort of like uh, my stuff out there due to its sort of modern, clean, sort of look um, and the fact that it's a bit fun as well but also the fact that it's so diverse um, when anyone visits my stall that they, they might not like one side of the stall which is up to them but they always find something on the stall that they think oh I really like that um, so I think the diversity uh, as an artist because obviously artists can be quite linear in their style um, is something that's really unique um, and everyone finds something that they really really like. Hopefully. Yeah, oh, it's great. Yeah. And obviously, and you have a real passion about it, which is, is really great. Um, do you have, I know you sell a lot at um, the markets in Edinburgh, Grass Market, Stockbridge. Um, do you have any stockists right, right now? Yeah, yeah, we have a couple. So um, we actually were going to try and do the trade fair two years ago. Um, well, was it two years? 18 months ago now with the pandemic. Um, so since then, we've sort of been open to it. Um, and we've had it, we've got a few retailers uh, well, we've got a nice one down in uh, Yorkshire, actually. They got some stuff off us just this year. Uh, that was sort of like a big bulk order. But apart from that one, everything's sort of been on a sale return basis. So right. a wee shop 
in Troon that just takes a couple of things. Um, and uh, I've got a shop in Brunsfield uh, called Raff, which is a great little shop, but that's like a collective of 60 different artists in there. So yeah. again, on a sort of sale return basis. Um, so there's a few shops started around, but it's more through people I've met at the market rather yeah. than, you know, putting myself out there being yes. like, hey guys, do you want to buy it? And so hopefully that's what this is. This is the start of yeah. that sort of process. Exactly. So you're just- open to stock us anywhere really so yeah anyway yeah yeah great yeah yeah I, I, it's good to just meet the people and every, every every new stockist does it slightly differently and it's like an adventure and they want some they want something slightly differently so we'll give that a go um yeah. so in fact raf we'll maybe get into this later but raf they they sell a lot of puffins so puffins right. seem to be uh very popular at the moment yeah. so they actually uh called me yesterday and said would you like to do a puffin design so uh, so today i'm going to go through my little inspiration folder that i was told you and we'll see if we can maybe come up with a, a puffin uh, yes. oh, they, so hopefully yeah. it's unique to them and see, see where it goes so yeah basically i was going to ask that next question do you can do bespoke if somebody wants something particular for their for their whether it's drawing something or whether it's one of the photography ones you can you're able to do that are you yeah that's it that again that's like uh, as i said like the the adventure of it all um at the moment I've got a, so I do, I do commissions for personal people all the time, uh, draw their dogs and things like that seem very popular. But uh, at the moment I'm working with, so my digital painting style, which you saw in the video, um, there's a goat farmer who sells meat and milk, etc., And they've got these beautiful boar goats. So we're working together to do a series of paintings bespoke to her, uh, her brand. Um, and it all works together. So that's really nice. And then I'm also actually working with, um, a company called Fred Bicycles. Again, he just he saw he saw me at the stall. Um, so you know, so and mm. he just said, "I love your style. Here's my brand. See what you can do." So again, it's it, it's taken a while, but we're we're, we're working together. Um, but as, as examples to show you, I've got to show you yeah. some examples for now. Yes, that'd like. be great. So, um, there's a couple of examples. This a quick one just to work with, like a t- the tourist injury. I draw a lot of pictures of uh, Greyfriars Bobby. If uh, everyone knows Greyfriars Bobby, so there he is. Um, so Real Mary's King's Close in the middle of um, Edinburgh is like a tourist Great. attraction. Yeah. They just wanted one that's unique to them. Um, so again, we designed them together. Obviously, sadly, they haven't been open for 18 months, but um, we use them sort of things. So that's good stuff. And then another another good one was um, on my breed side of things. So this is, um, this is called Cetaceans of the British Isles, which basically means dolphins and whales and stuff. Um, yeah. And I met a guy um, from a sort of a marine charity called Whalefish. Um, and he's a really, really nice guy and he just loved the breeds. And he asked if we could work together um, to do one to so all the different whales and dolphins in the British Isles. Um, so, and then he, we work together and he, we donate half the money to his charity. So it's a uh, really good fun. Um, oh, that's but good. Right, yeah. as well, one final thing to show you, which I forgot about is, um, We'll probably get into on the other types of products that I do, yeah. but because um, we're quite limited for space, just working from our house. Um, I occasionally, I do work with people to design a product that they specifically want. Um, mm-hmm. So I've actually I've, I've forgot about this, but this is a this is a snood. Um, oh, right, okay. So it's a really, really, really nice bit of kit. But again, I didn't particularly want to sell them myself. Um, so there you go. It's just a snood like yeah, that. Yeah, just um, with your really drawings, wanted- yeah. Yeah, they really wanted them. So they said, do you mind if we, so if you can see, it's got my yeah. cattle on it. Um, so we produced uh, together, again, together we worked on a product um, using my designs and what they wanted. And uh, we produced that. And they actually just came back to me a month ago for horses next. So, so very, you're very versatile. You can do anything. Now, I've yeah, had... yeah, well, as I said, that's part of the fun. That's, that's the fun, so. Great. I've had a question in from the audience to say, would they, if they were a, a retail, would they be able to sell your products online? Would you allow that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, Raph, can, so the you, little shop I mentioned in Brunsfield does that. So, yeah. Right. So you work with anything, right? And another question from um, that's coming from the audience is, apart from prints, I mean, I was going to ask as well, what are you applying your designs on different products? Can you talk about some of the different products? 
Yeah, of course. Yeah. So as I, I do primarily focus on prints as like an artist. Um, and as I mentioned, we do have limited space to store certain products, but we do mix it up a bit. So I've got on my table here, I've got my mugs. These are my, my standard mugs. Hopefully the camera will yeah. zoom in on that. There you go. So this is, again, the Breeds mugs that we've got. What's um, their trade price? Were their trade price for those? So the trade price is quite high on these ones, actually, um, because they do cost quite a lot of to make. Um, so they are six, seven, eight quid, um, depending on what, what's going on. And they come with a, a wee box as well to pres right. present them. Um, yeah. But yeah, they, they are, regarding the trade prices, obviously we do try and stick to the two and a half, if not three times um, for a lot of the prints and the artwork. But mm -hmm. the, the mugs and the smaller products, it is trickier to get that two and a half mark that I hear right. people talk about quite a bit. Yes. Um, yeah. But yeah, we, we also do, so that there's another mug just to show you. So it, it, this is the wildlife one. That's um, fun. yeah. Example of like the different sort of things we do. So they're all they're all made in the UK. Um, they're all like, in, I looked around for years to try and find a decent quality, good sharp print. And I think we found it. So, um, but that does come at a slight premium, um, but that's the way it is. Um, and then we also do these uh, lovely little, uh, microfiber tea towels um so they're sort of they're microfiber and cotton so they're a bit different to your classic tea towels so people yeah. use them as gym towels and like uh you know just hand towels and stuff like that so again made in the uk um yeah and, and what trade price on that what is the trade price on that uh that'll be similar i think that's uh i think they're about 550 six, 550 each or something like that um, right. but again i'd have to check if anyone wants to have a look at the i've got a uh, my form with all my prices on and in my brochure so okay. if anyone wants to know the the details i'm being quite vague because i don't want to get it wrong yeah um, right and you do cards as well am i right that you do cards so you go oh yeah of course yeah yeah sorry if, if, I, if I left i forgot to bring the cards out let me have a look oh my god where are my cards i haven't got any cards i forgot to do my cards i forgot to bring the cards out but we do have cards so here's yeah, an example of one. this is a bit of a random example but as I forgot to bring them out. So yeah, here's here's a uh, greetings cards. That's actually um, Edinburgh Christmas. at Christmas. Great. Um, which is a bit random, but yeah. we do do the the all the cards with um, all the breeds on. So every breed again. Yeah. Um, and because because my art is all digital, um, we and as I showed you with the snood that we made, you can apply pretty much any design of mine to a product. Um, so that's what we try and do. If, again, as I mentioned, the, the, the lady who does the goats, I didn't actually have a goat greetings card, so she requested one. And then yeah, we, did, so we did a wholesale sale. That's that, great, so yeah. It works out quite um, nicely. Excellent. We've had another question from the audience. Um, no, what are your standard delivery times from order receipt um, for the mugs? So what would you... Yeah, would... the mugs, again, again, this is just a storage issue that we have in our house. Um, and I do stock... A large amount of the mugs so it, it is very dependent on what um we currently have in stock but the lead times can be up to six weeks if we don't have them unfortunately right. just the way it is okay yeah but again with the pandemic it's been the mugs have just been a nightmare they sent me all the wrong stuff and stuff so it's yeah. been it's been an absolute joy with the the producers but um yeah, yeah it, but the, it can vary it just depends it depends on what people ask for to be honest um and what about prints have you got what's the lead time on the prints is that uh, as can be, so my printers is just in Haymarket's an absolute top top man, um, become quite a close friend. So he he but he can do it. Sometimes he has it ready for an hour later. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. So the prints the prints can be done within a couple of days. Um, yeah. And we do obviously again storage prints are a lot easier to store than mugs. Yeah. So we do have a lot a lot of prints in stock. Um, and then it's just delivery times, you know, through the post. So it's pretty yeah. simple. And do you have limits on the size of the order? I mean, can you can you produce as much as you as you want? You don't have any limits on how much you can produce. No, not at all, not at all. Again, it's all like it can. As we're learning how to do all this, it can be a bespoke order to the to the retailer or any anyone wants it really. Right. Um, we'll probably have a minimum order of two hundred, maybe. Um, but again, I'd have to check my notes. Two two hundred, okay. two fifty, maybe. Um, just. To, do you charge delivery as well? Uh, again, it's all on a sort of bespoke right. status. Okay. If someone orders a thousand pounds worth of stuff, I'm not going to charge delivery. Yeah. Um, okay. But if 
uh, we, ha we have a courier, so it doesn't cost much more than if you order mugs, obviously that starts when it gets, gets heavy. So yeah. it's all about the weight, but again, prints doddle to send. So I, right. you know, I probably cover it five pound tops if it's in the UK, of course. Yeah. Um, oh, well, yeah. Else, that is really fascinating. We'd, I'd love to talk to you for a lot longer, but sadly we're going to run out of time. Is there anything else you'd like to add at all about anything that we haven't covered? Um, no, there probably is, but I'll, you know, on the spot, I probably won't, I probably won't remember. Okay. Um, People can contact just, you direct. Just that I'm finishing, I've, again, this has all been a bit of a whirlwind uh, because of the competition and all this, so it's all been good fun, but just finishing the brochure, and um, there's a couple of people who I've emailed that I haven't, they're asking for the brochure and I'm just finishing it off. So if people bear with me, but over the next couple of days, if anyone wants to email price list brochure, have a chat, all good. Yeah, great. Oh, well, thank you so much, Charles. It's been really interesting and fantastic. Good luck with the business. I hope it really goes well. I hope there's lots of stockists out there who are going to snap you up because I think your products are great. Um, it's really good company to start the day off. So thank you. Um, just to say next up at 10.30, I've got Sally Goulston from Shalich. But before we we're going to have another look at Al's um, video. And thank you again, Al, for coming on. Thanks, Vanella. Great fun. Cheers.